Many of you have probably heard about the excitement that's been built around artificial intelligence in the last couple of years. Me and my colleagues have seen this in the explosion of paper submissions to top AI conferences around the world. But even for us that do this for a living, it's really hard to keep track of everything that comes out every day. But can this AI excitement help us tackle a specific challenge in healthcare? According to several reports, each year in the US, more than 18 million people are 12 million people are misdiagnosed across different clinical conditions, with women and minorities being 30% more likely to be affected. On top of that, 18% of all misdiagnosed patients end up being permanently damaged or deceased. Today, this is how most AI clinical systems work. Using a single source of information, like a chest X-ray, an AI model generates what we expect to be a reliable prediction. However, there are limitations. One, this is highly dependent on data av availability and quality. Two, there is no real explanation or understanding on how the model uh, creates predictions. And three, if we want to use the model in a different setting, we need to completely readapt it. So overall, there is no guarantee that we can solve this misdiagnosis problem. The work we do in our lab aims to improve this pipeline by using more information about the patient and developing what we call uncertainty-guided AI. We generate a prediction but we also provide an uncertainty estimate telling us how well the model is at classifying a specific patient. Working together with doctors, we are able to automatically classify predictions with low uncertainty and further review those patients for which the model is struggling. The way we do this is by using multimodal data, which mimics the decision-making process of a clinician by combining multiple sources of information simultaneously. Then we apply a technique called Bayesian learning which, is, which relies on the Bayes probability theorem, helping us integrate uncertainty measurements into the model's predictions. So in order to test all this, we applied it to the prediction of patient mortality in the ICU. Compared to the current baseline available for this task, our system is able to produce a 7% improvement in correctly predicting patients that are deteriorating and almost 200% in classifying those patients for which it is highly uncertain. Overall, we also observed that there is a 35% improvement across different subgroups of patients based on age and gender. In the future, we aim to apply this, apply this to a broad range of clinical applications, both in women's health, oncology, and urology. In addition, and considering the fact that 84% of the world's population come from developing countries, our goal is to ensure that these tools can be easily adapted to places that have limited access to resources making sure that anyone can have access to high quality and reliable healthcare solutions based on AI. Thank you very much.